Hello and welcome to a new series I'm going to be starting on this channel called Shiny Hunters Side Hustles. In these videos, I'm going to be walking you through some really cool horde locations where you can make a decent profit while also shiny hunting a desirable Pokemon. My name is Young Cabbage, and I strive to create helpful and fun PokeMMO content to help grow the community and promote the game. That being said, let's jump right in. This week, the horde we will be shunting at is going to be a 100% lantern spot in Hoenn. These lanterns not only have an amazing shiny, donning a nice purple color instead of the traditional blue, but also have a chance to hold one of two items, the deep sea scale and the yellow shard. I will go over prices and where to sell them later on, but first, let's talk about what Pokemon you will need to make this method possible. You are going to need three Pokemon. First, any Pokemon with the move Sweet Scent. I would recommend using a PP Max on Sweet Scent, that way you get more encounters per heal. This Pokemon will help us summon the Hordes of Lanterns. Second, you are going to want a Pokemon with the ability Frisk. This will allow you to see if any of the Lanterns are holding an item. Some of the Pokemon you can use for this are Shuppet, Stantler, Wigglytuff, and a few more. And finally, you will need a Pokemon with the move Thief. This will allow you to steal the item from the Wild Lantern. Through trial and error, I have come to the conclusion that Galvantula is the best pick for this, due to the Lanterns constantly hitting you with a Discharge move that can paralyze you, and Signal Beam, which is a Bug-type move. Galvantula is amazing here, as it cannot be paralyzed and takes not very effective damage from the Bug-type attacks. Next, let's go over where we are going to find these Lantern Hordes. Again, you're going to want to travel to the Hoenn region and go to Sutopolis City. After flying here, head south outside of the Pokemon Center. Surf down to this dark blue water, indicating that we can dive. Dive down, head outside the cave, and step into any of these patches of seaweed to start encountering the Hordes. Now, let's walk through a quick visual example of what this method will look like. First, you're going to pop your sweet scent. The Horde of Lanterns will show up, and you will send out your Pokémon with the ability Frisk. If a Lantern is holding an item, you will get an indication like this, where it will alert you that your Pokémon has Frisked an item. Also, if you go to this bottom left corner, you can open up the Battle menu, and just to confirm here that you did frisk an item. Next, you're going to switch your Pokemon to the Galvantula or whichever Thief Mon you are using. It's going to tank a lot of the hits. This is where I was telling you it's going to be very effective to bring in Electric type, uh, specifically Galvantula, just because it does resist those bug type attacks, but it cannot be paralyzed, allowing you to just continue to thief these lanterns as efficiently as possible. You're next going to use Thief on the Lanterns until you find the one that has the item. You will know you thief the item when you see that little animation there. And then it will say that you stole either the Yellow Shard or the Deep Sea Scale. After you thief the item, feel free to run away from battle, open up your Thief Pokemon's menu, and remove the item. This will place it in your bag, and then you can continue on to the next horde. Now that you understand the method, let's dive into the profits you'll make. On top of the chance at a Shiny Lantern, you will also end up with a good amount of Deep Sea Scales and Yellow Shards. The Deep Sea Scales can be used to evolve Clam Pearl into Gorbreeze, or be sold on the GTL for around 15k a pop. The Yellow Shards can be sold on the GTL for around 1800k as they are, or they can be crafted into Thunderstones you can sell for 2.5k. You can also use Thunderstones to help evolve any Pokémon that you might need for the decks. To convert the yellow shards into thunderstones, what you're going to do is fly over to Moss Deep City, head directly left from the Pokemon Center and up, and bump into this house here. This is going to be the Shard Maniac. Talking to him will allow you to turn any shards that you have found 
into the stone of that respective color. As you can see, if I use a yellow shard here, I will get a free thunderstone. I tested this method for around an hour at peak efficiency and ended with 5 deep, deep sea scales and 24 yellow shards. This will fluctuate depending on RNG, but these numbers should give you a basic understanding of what you will be making. If I were to sell all of my deep sea scales and sell the thunderstones that I crafted from the yellow shards, I will have made around 75k off the deep sea scales and 60k from the thunderstones. This means that I made roughly 130k this hour. Again, this is by no means the most efficient money-making strategy in Pokey MMO, but I will say that you do make a pretty good sum of money while also putting yourself in the position to find an amazing shiny lantern. But that does bring us to the end of our video. Please comment underneath this video what you would like to see next, like the video if it was helpful, and subscribe for more Pokey MMO content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.